so there we go that is a completely surfaced spoil board um, and the spindle is is completely trammed in um, you probably saw it in the video I was fiddling around with it and touching it and what I was doing I was looking to see um, how accurate my tramming job was um, and if you can look at here you see those lines right here okay that is the tilt of the spoil board cutter and it is so close to being perfect uh, that all you can see are, are color changes uh, indicating the tilt. Um, you can't grab it with a fingernail and I really can't touch it or feel it with my fingertips. Um, you can see an example over here. This is the spoil board for my shop bot and you can see the lines are a lot easier to see and you can feel in here a little bit more of the step that you can visually see but it's still not enough to catch your finger on but with this uh, this thing is 100 percent done and functional uh, a couple of weeks ago i went ahead and made all of these panels for the spoil board um, it's got let's get this reframed it's got a pair of holes here yeah, here, here, and two in the back that hold it down. And then uh, we've got a series of dog holes running in the center. And then surrounding each one of those dog holes is four um, threaded inserts. Uh, are we even getting that in frame? There we go. That'll be better. Uh, these are threaded inserts. They're M6. Um, for whatever kind of fixturing I want to do. And then there is also a T-Track for whatever fixturing I want to do. Um, I'll show you guys the trick to how I trammed this thing. That's it. This is a piece of 8th inch uh, diameter music wire that many moons ago was originally going to be a piece of landing gear for an RC airplane but when I got my shop bot I turned it into this fancy little tramming gauge um, and there's nothing to it I mean there's two 90 degree bends and that's it um, you rotate it around with the spindle off of course and you just want to make sure that you've got it the same height all the way around as it scribes its circle. And uh, before I, I cut this, uh, I went ahead and, and tweaked it a little bit, you know, and uh, got it to visually identical in the whole circle. And I thought I was close enough that I could do a, a half millimeter cut uh, pass, which is what this was, uh, figuring that I would then see the uh, which direction I needed to refine the job and I got it so close by eye that there's nothing left for me to do this is as flat as is reasonable to expect using the tools that I had at hand um, and it's far flatter than I will ever need no matter what I build on this machine. Um, if it was a thou out, I'd be surprised. Um, that being said, as humidity goes up and down, this MDF is going to change thickness, and uh, it won't matter anyway. Um, the dog holes are kind of neat, because I can drop pins in here, like so, and, or dowel, or you know, bench dogs. That's what I was thinking about. Um, and it works really well. The holes are cut all the way down into the table. So not only does uh, 
the bench dog act as a, a component alignment, but it could also uh, allow these to be, or the allow the alignment of these to be refined. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with the way this came out. And this entire design is based on another YouTuber um, whose name I completely have forgotten now because it's been long enough. Uh, but I will put a link to his video so you can see how you can make something like this. Uh, this entire uh, spoil board setup was m basically uh, a copy of his design based on what my needs were. Um, the first being is everything's metric. None of this is imperial. So, anyway, the, oh yeah, I wanted to show you the spoil board cutter I used. So let me pull that off the spindle and we'll take a look at that. This is the cutter I used. Um, I picked it up off of AliExpress. It's a generic, no name uh, spoil board cutter. It uses um, inserts instead of uh, regularly sharpened blades. Um, this means that I can get a lot of life out of this tool. Um, and in fact, it will probably last longer than I have lifespan left. So that's a win. Um, it's 40 millimeters, 40 millimeters in diameter and has an 8 millimeter shaft to it. And it worked very well. Um, I used G Sender uh, to do the spoil board task, and it was running at 17,000 RPM and 4,000 millimeters per minute, I think. Yeah, um, which was an increase to the default of 2,500. But I just got absolutely amazing results, and I'm very happy with it. So that's all there is. Thanks, folks.